So in order to get the maximum benefits of exercise, so one should aim to get at least a minimum of 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise or a combination of both. But let us say if this person is a complete beginner and they're not and they are completely new to exercising, then I usually start them with a low intensity exercise and I progress them to a moderate int intensity exercise in a period of three months or so. So what is this low intensity, moderate intensity, vigorous intensity, right? So this is where I'm talking about the exercise intensity. So kind, kind of like how much uh, I need to challenge the heart. So in order to measure the exercise intensity, the test that I'm going to talk about first is called as a talk test. This is something that I really like because you don't need to have any special gadgets to measure the exercise intensity. So based on the talk test, so let us talk about what is low intensity exercise. Ask yourself if you can talk easily while doing your favorite kind of exercise. You're operating at a low intensity if you can easily talk in entire sentences with little to no break for a breath. So when we say moderate intensity, you should be able to talk but not sing while doing an exercise. This means that your voice will be strained and your breathing will be more noticeable, but you'll still be able to hold a conversation. So when we say vigorous intensity, It'll be hard for you to carry out a conversation. You'll be unable to talk more than a few words without pausing to catch your breath. I would not recommend beginners or person with recent heart disease to start exercising at this intensity. You see how easy it is to use this test. You don't need any special gadgets. You can start using this method right away and make sure that you improve your fitness. But let us say, let's say you're, if you're someone who want to take the fitness to the next level, right? And you want to make sure that I exercise the right target zone for my heart, then you have to measure the heart rate during exercise. So this method of tracking can be especially beneficial for individuals on medication that influence their heart rate, such as beta blockers, and those who have recently been affected by heart disease and wish to ensure that they don't overexert themselves during early stages of recovery. You would need a paper and pen, a calculator, and your resting heart rate number. Obviously, you would need a heart rate monitor to use this method while exercising. You can either use the cardio equipment heart rate monitor or a heart rate monitor watch, or a chest strap heart rate monitor. The heart rate method that I'm going to teach you is called as the Carvalin heart rate method. I'm going to use me as an example and I'll show you my target heart rate range for low, moderate, and vigorous intensity exercise. So my resting heart rate is 55 beats per minute. My age is 33 years old. So let's find out my heart rate max. The formula for heart rate max is going to be 207 minus 0.7 multiply H. So once I plug in the numbers, it comes to 183 beats per minute. So that's my heart rate max. So the heart rate reserve formula is going to be percentage intensity multiplied by heart rate max minus heart rate rest. And once you find that number, you add your resting heart rate. Let's find the intensity range for low, moderate, and vigorous. The low intensity is going to be 30 to 40%. Moderate intensity is going to be 40 to 60%. Vigorous intensity is going to be 6 to 80%. So let's plug in the intensity numbers into the heart rate reserve formula to get the heart rate range for low, moderate, and vigorous intensity. So the target heart rate for low intensity, which is between 30 to 40% intensity, is going to be between 93 beats per minute to 106 beats per minute. The target heart rate for moderate intensity, which is between 40 to 60% intensity, is going to be between 106 beats per minute to 131 beats per minute. The target heart rate for vigorous intensity, which is between 60 to 80 percent intensity, is going to be between 131 beats per minute to 157 beats per minute. So what we know so far is that one minute of vigorous intensity exercise positively benefits the body in a similar manner to two minutes of moderate intensity exercise. However, vigorous intensity exercise carries more risk for injuries and they can trigger a heart attack from an underlying silent heart disease, although very rare. Therefore, it is advised to gradually climb the ladder of physical activity rather than immediately engaging in vigorous exercises due to potential health risks. So the American College of Sports Medicine recommends to start with moderate intense exercise, but I usually start with low intense exercise and gradually progress to moderate intense exercise. So some of my patients might get worried saying that if I start with low intense exercise, maybe I'm not improving my fitness, I'm just like wasting my time. But what does the evidence show? So studies have shown that if your baseline fitness is low, so in order to uh, understand this, so if you're not able to run, one mile in 12 minutes, then your average fitness is low, which means that even a low intensity exercise will improve your fitness. That's promising, right? Because think about this. When we say exercise, immediately people think about, oh, I have to do this hard work every day. 
but you don't have to. You can just start slowly and build your fitness level. And once you start getting more comfortable with it, then you can start with more intensive exercise. So remember, fitness matters. So what I mean by that is that, so let us say I'm walking today, right? So today walking can be a moderate intensive exercise. But in three months later, the walking can become easier. So it becomes more like a low intensive exercise. But then your fitness can get stagnated if you don't challenge yourself. So that's why it's important to keep progressing with your intensity. And that's why I've, I've kind of like taught you these two tests, the talk test and the heart rate test. And you can use those tests to make sure that you're challenging enough so that your heart gets the exercise. It keeps improving the fitness and you get the benefits from improved fitness. So a question that I often get asked is that, you know what, I've got like only like five, 10 minutes of free time, maybe in the afternoon by exercising only for five minutes, does it still improve your fitness? And the answer is yes, every minute counts. Okay. So hope you got a good grasp. So basically any exercise that challenges your heart, and that could be elliptical, biking, swimming, home videos such as like jumping jacks, kettlebell swings, you name it. So let me give you an example of what I did this morning. So this morning I chose to do running for 10 minutes on a treadmill and my heart rate was around like 130 to 140 beats per minute. And then I did biking for 10 minutes and my heart rate was around like 130 beats per minute. And then I did walking incline and my heart rate was around like 110 beats per minute. So basically I got 20 minutes of vigorous intensity, which is equivalent to 40 minutes of moderate intensity. Along with it, I did a 10 minutes of moderate intensity, which is the incline walking. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment box below and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.